All right, guys. So today we're going to do just a brief introduction to CX debate or cross-examination debate. We'll have later videos that dive into what exactly you're supposed to do if you're the affirmative or the negative. This is just kind of telling you what this debate style looks like. Okay, so if you remember from last time, we talked about how CX debate is also known as policy debate. So this whole um, debate is going to center around U.S. policy at home and abroad, and they'll have some sort of central issue or topic, also known as the resolution, that you will be debating about. So you are making up kind of policies that would work in certain scenarios is what you're doing in this debate. And remember that this is a two-person debate, uh, like you and a partner against another team of two. So there will be four people total in a debate round. The topic that you guys are debating changes every year. The one that we do in class is the one that's argued by the UIL. And uh, this year, our topic is resolved. The United States federal government should enact substantial criminal justice reform in the United States in one or more of the following forensic science, policing, or sentencing. So everybody in the state of Texas is going to be researching and arguing this topic. So as the affirmative, you would be saying, yes, the United States should enact substantial criminal justice reform, and here's why. And as the negative, you'd be saying, no, what we have is basically good enough, and here's why. So this is the structure of a CX debate, like what each round looks like. So it always starts off with the affirmative team, the team that's gonna be arguing that yes, this should happen. Uh, and they have what are called constructive speeches that they'll be giving. So that's really where you're laying out your argument. So anything you see here in the constructive column is you are building your argument, you're giving sources, you're making claims, that kind of thing. Uh, you'll see that in between each affirmative and negative, Constructive, there are CX uh, markers. And so that just means cross-examination. That's when you get to ask your opponent questions. So whoever just spoke gets asked the questions by the other team. So everybody um, that is debating in this round, all four people each give a constructive speech and they each get to ask CX questions and answer CX questions. So the constructives are where you're building your argument. And then you see in red, there are rebuttals. So rebuttals are just when you are responding to your opponent's argument and you are kind of trying to build up your own. You're literally rebutting whatever it is they said about your case. Um, so you'll see those are actually shorter. You go back to back um, and uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Do not stress about having to memorize these rounds. Like when we do this in class and everything, you'll have um, like a, printed sheet in front of you that tells you the times and like what you should be doing in each speech. It's all very structured. Um, and that's one thing I think if you got into this class because you think that it's going to be a lot like presidential debates, you know, where people are literally just cutting each other off and arguing back and forth, that's really not what it's like. This is very structured and uniform. So here's just an example kind of of what you're doing if you are the affirmative or what you're doing if you're the negative. So I have this wheel here that tells you kind of how you process the statement. And this is with an old topic. Um, so just pretend that it's with the topic we have. But basically as the affirmative, you're breaking down each section of that resolved statement that the United States federal government should substantially in increase, you know, regulation of police reform or whatever. So just imagine you're breaking down that statement and you're going to be like finding evidence that is going to back up each part of that statement. So it'll be things like, you know, they are going to reform it by doing this thing. And we'll be able to do that thing by increasing funding from this unit of the government, things like that. We'll break it down together. So that's the affirmative job is they have to advocate for change, no matter what that is. And then the negative has to do the opposite. The negative has to say that they prefer the status quo. So the way things are right now, that what we have is actually very good. And here's how we can just maybe do this one thing we already have going for us and maybe improve that a little bit because you're not adding anything. Uh, so that's the negative's job. So here are a few basic CX terms that you'll see, especially, I mean, you already saw them in this PowerPoint, uh, but you'll see them again throughout when we're talking about the affirmative and the negatives. Each has its own set of vocabulary that you'll be learning. Uh, but here's some of the basic steps. So a resolution, that's just the topic that you're debating. 
So it's this, this resolution is about criminal justice reform. The constructives are just the four speeches that are building your case. That's where you're making all of your arguments, you're giving out all your evidence, that's where you actually like present what you have. The rebuttals are the last four speeches that you go through and they're focusing on, you know, what are the main issues you wanna make sure your judge remembers about your case and you're defending them against the other team, right? So like whatever they said about you, you're gonna defend and then you're going to try and poke holes in their case. That's where you tell the judges, this is why I should win. They didn't do this and I did. The other terms are a little bit more specific and we'll get into those when we're talking about specific, um, like affirmative or negative vocab. But those first three are really the big three you need to know just entering into debate. So again, if you walk away with pretty much nothing else today, you should know what the responsibilities are of the affirmative and what are the responsibilities of the negative. Uh, the affirmative also is known that they're responsible for having what's called the burden of proof. So they have to actually show why what we have right now is not good enough and why we need something new. The negative really just has to clash with them. They have to give enough reasons why that won't work. They don't actually have to present a plan of their own. Um, so in some ways, the affirmative can be a little bit harder to defend just because you have to come up with so many different um, key parts of that case and then defend against it the whole time. So you have to do a lot of research in the affirmative uh, and then the negative, you're just trying to clash as much as possible. All right, so that's it for our basic introduction to cross-examination debate. In the next week or so, we'll start looking at the, um, like actually building an affirmative case with the topic for this year and actually building a negative case so that way we can debate each other. So have a great day, guys.